Hey guys, what's going on? This is Travis P11. I'd like to welcome you back to the channel. And today we're going to do a tabletop review of my deli sandwich. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, what we actually have here is from Gatewood Supply Company. This is a semi-automatic trigger group that's been converted from an H&K original select fire trigger pack for the Setme C308 rifle or Century Arm C308 rifle. So it's apparently an H&K original that's been permanently modified for safe and semi-auto only. Uh, the reason why I bought this, and if you've watched the, recently on my channel, I took my Setme C03 out to the range and I had some double tap issues going on. And unless you pull back the trigger all the way and hold it for just a second or so, it automatically rocks itself and resets and would fire again and do a double tap. And I, I wanted that to end. The problem you're running into is that these trigger packs are getting really hard to find, especially ones that have been gunsmith converted to semi-automatic. I mean, I'm trying to find these online and a lot of manufacturers won't sell them because they're going to make you buy the rifle before they sell you just the trigger pack. So I got to give a shout out to my buddy Night Strike out there, Night Strike One. Um, he sent me links for this and said that this is something that I definitely want to pick up if I want to end that issue that I was having with my rifle. I also have an H&K original uh, so you select fire safety lever. And um, this is something that I, you, you have to have this one if you have a polymer lower or a polymer grip module. And that's what I have. Now, my current safety might work with it, but I thought I'd get something that's just recommended to be paired with this particular trigger pack. I know it's going to be compatible with it. So the only thing I don't know is if this trigger module, this trigger pack, is going to fit in the polymer lower or the polymer grip module that I have in my set me. Now, we thought maybe I had a set me Navy polymer grip setup, but I think it's actually a PTR 91. Now, I got to be honest with you guys, I'm still a noob and still a bit of a beginner when it comes to the set me C308 rifles that were imported by Century Arms. Uh, my gun's already been modified a little bit, so I don't really care about keeping it original as imported. I mean, it's it's got, you know, it's, it's obviously has the parts on it that I needed for 921, 922R compliance or whatever you call it. But anyway, um, I think I paid 100 and uh, I want to say $130, $135 for this, $125. And judging around online, I mean, everything was sold out. I couldn't find any of them anywhere. In fact, I went back to the uh, Gatewood, I think it's called Gatewood, isn't it? Yeah. Gatewood Supply Company website, and these are gone. They're not there anymore. So I'm going to get this cleaned up a little bit. We'll pull the trigger pack out of my other rifle, and we'll compare the two together side by side. The original trigger pack that's in my rifle is the trigger pack that was imported with the rifle from Setme, or from, uh, from Century Arms and was modified to be able to use it for American sale. Obviously, it, it's not a full auto trigger pack. Um, but anyway, like I said, we'll go ahead and pull that out, put these two side by side. Just gonna do some, some dry firing once we get this installed, if it fits and works. If it doesn't, there is a grip module I can buy for another 100 bucks that is designed for these converted select fire uh, trigger packs, all right? So without further ado, let's go ahead and uh, compare the two trigger groups. Now you can get these, you know, with the select fire, full auto, semi-auto, safe settings online. You can get these for 90 bucks pretty much all day. Um, but it's the ones that have been permanently modified and converted to semi-auto. That would mean that would be legal for me to use in my, my rifle. Um, those are the ones that are getting really hard to find. In fact, I couldn't find any of them online. And so here's the grip module I was talking about. I'm pretty sure that this is a PTR-91 module. I believe that the actual Setme Navy grip module, which looks similar to this, has two bolts in the rear. It has the, uh, the frame in the back that takes two bolts, whereas the PTR-91 only has one. And looking at the mold markings and everything, I'm pretty sure this is a PTR part. Now, I could be completely wrong, and I think that this uh, select fire lever has probably been uh, swapped out at some point or another. Like I said, the gun's not 100% original, uh, if I'm not mistaken. So we'll go ahead and pull out the grip module here, and then we will compare the two together, and then we'll drop in the new one and see if it fits. Okay, so it looks nearly identical. So this is the H&K original with the H&K safety lever on the right, the select fire lever on the right. And then this is the modified Sentry Arms trigger pack. So kind of let you look at it from one side. There's this spring right here. Where we don't have that up here. I think the modifications are internal. Let's go and flip it over. It's a little bit dirty. And if you have any experience with these um, uh, Gatewoods parts, make sure you let me know. I'm kind of curious to see what you guys think about them. But the price was about 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 you know, fifty sixty dollars more than it would have cost before an unconverted trigger pack, which I wouldn't have been able to legally use anyway. So major differences between the Century parts and again the H and K part. Okay, so I'm happy to report that it fit directly in there. And again, like I said, this is a polymer grip module. Um, again, the safety lever, the select fire lever, much more precise. 
has a lot more authority to it than the previous one, which kind of floated around a little bit. And again, the mechanisms are just very much different with this being an HDK original. See the top of it there in the back? So it did drop right in, uh, function testing it, just, you know, we're just gonna kind of do some light, some light pulls on it. It's on fire. Trigger. Just a little bit of pull when it goes. I'd say you probably got about maybe, maybe a half inch before it goes. That's awesome. Now the real test is gonna be how it functions when it's on the range. So that's gonna be part two. So for today, we just wanted to see if it was gonna fit and it does. So now we'll go ahead and get this installed back in the rifle. And in the next video, we will take this one to the range. All right guys, so again, shout out to Nice Strike One for pointing this part out to me. I think I might've got the last one, but you guys check the um, Gatewood Supply Company. Uh, website when you get a chance they've got a lot of parts for h and k's and set me's and things like that so you know these pop up just they said limited quantity when i bought it and that was one of the reasons why i went ahead and got it the safety lever i think was like 12 or 13 dollars and uh, did come with an h and k patch which is pretty cool so anyway guys this is travis p11 i want to thank you for watching please like and subscribe as we continue the journey with the uh, set me rifle the c308 again i'm like i said i'm still kind of a noob when it comes to these rifles so if i had misstated anything or referred to anything incorrectly i just want to apologize in advance but uh, I'm excited to take it back out, and we'll see if it's got a nice, distinct semi-automatic trigger pull um, instead of the accidental double taps that I was causing by the way that I was pulling the trigger. Uh, but if you like what you see, please like and subscribe. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. We're over on GunStreamer, uh, GunTube.org, and also on YouTube. And we've got a little podcast that we do on Saturday mornings called uh, Caliber Corner at 8 a.m. Central Time. It's a fun little time where we sit around and talk about guns and ammo and pretty much whatever else uh, is on our mind. But... In the meantime, I want you guys to have fun. I want you to be safe. And as you know, we will talk to you soon. All right. Bye-bye.